Good afternoon from a little coffee and a lot of Yehua. My name is Jacob Tack and I'm just going to do a short session this afternoon just to inform you about my free books. Yes, free books in case um, it's misunderstood. I am aware of my accent and possibly can cause um, difficulty of certain issues to understand issues such as free books which is a rarity these days but I'm very grateful to Abba that he has enabled me <coughs> excuse me to to write these books please understand this is not done in my ability um, I've mentioned in one of my previous teachings that I even failed my my final year of school's uh, essay writing. So writing is not my strong point. But Abba has laid these um, topics on my heart. Um, he's worked in me. He's given me incredible truths from his word, which I am able to share with you through these books. Um, basically it is two books and the third book, or as a small book, is um, an aid to help you when you witness. So the first one is called The Truth and Nothing But The Truth. In this book, I discuss various topics, about 25 different topics um, are covered. And it starts off with my story. It's, uh, the idea is not to tell you about my story, but my story is there because many people who could have had similar walks in their life, going off the rails and a typical Christian that, that I was, going off the rails purely because... I didn't have the knowledge. So this book, it starts off with my story, helping, explaining to people and also showing people how I came into truth. And I think that is probably the, the crucial bit in that story. And it is not very long. It's not a very long story. It's just showing people how Abba calls people. And I'm, I'm so blessed by our Heavenly Father being able to share this with you. Some of the, the topics that I cover is his name, which is the key of knowledge. The two house teaching. Where is Abba's people? Where are they in the world? Who are they? Where did they come from? How can I, as a Dutch South African, call myself an Ephraimite, being of the tribe of Ephraim? Those are issues covered or topics covered helping you to understand. Um, I discuss uh, the appointed times, the feasts, the scriptural feasts. Um, I discuss why are we called Nazarim, or what it means. Uh, dis discuss things such as grace, the renewed covenant, the redemption plan of Yahuwah for His people, mystery of, I mystery of iniquity, um, and also things such as how do we know the scriptures is the true, the truth. Many people will say, yes, it's just written by man. But there's so much more. And we can prove the scriptures. It was a wonderful journey that, that Abba took me on to, to find and, and how to prove it. Because it's very useful when you talk to people and say, I can actually prove it. But no other faith can. They can say a lot of things, but prove it. That is, that is an interesting point. Um, <clears throat> so that is about the truth and nothing but the truth. And there's, there's, there's a lot more in, in this book. The next one that I've done is called The Watchman. Come out of uh, her, my people. Um, I am a watchman and this is what I'm doing. I'm being a watchman talking to you now, telling you the truths of Scripture, proving it to you, sharing Abba's love 
and importance to get it right. And in this um, book, I cover uh, also different topics. Um, the first chapter of this book my wife wrote, she's a, an author, she just finished her first book, um, and uh, she wrote the first chapter called The Sacrifice. It's really an allegory of Yahusha, um, showing his love, the, the love of a father. Beautiful, beautiful uh, story, the first chapter. And then I go on to, to share with you Noah's story, the story of Noah from the, the point of the book of Jasar. Crucial to be able to read the book of Jasar. Should never have been left out of the scriptures. Um, it's actually King James's wife, the Queen James, that actually took these, I understand, decided which books are going to be left out of the King James and which are going to be in. Very sad. Um, the Apocrypha, really good read, interesting, you learn a lot from it. Uh, other topics that I uh, cover, such as the pillars of jealousy, man's sinful condition, um, the enemy, how he operates. Uh, I look at some of the world's different faiths, uh, very short of each, just a page or page of two on the different faiths, just giving you information and some facts on them. And also more is covered in this book. Um, so uh, we're happy to, to share and give this to you freely. Um, these books are available free uh, for download, but also if you desire to have a hard copy, we will post it to you. Uh, we just ask that you would um, pay for the postage. Um, that will be grateful uh, to you for that. And then the last one is, is a little one. Uh, comparing to the other book sizes, it's, you can see the difference, about half the size. Maybe a little bit more. But it, it's a small book. Uh, should be able to fit in your top pocket or your, your back pocket. Really the reason for that is, it's a pocket size for a reason. Um, also, basically the topics covered shortened from those two books. It is really an aid for you to help you when you feel called to witness. The scripture verses are with the topics covered. So you can use this and mark it and tag it. Um, and just to help you, when, you, especially in the beginning, when you feel you're not that confident in covering all the different topics. So again, this one also very useful. It is truly a light for this dark world. So feel free, uh, we look forward to your response to bless you with a blessing from Yahuwah. Thank you for your time and Shalom from a little coffee and a lot of Yahuwah.